Oh, you're here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, you just walked right in. We haven't even... I was going to do a little bit of news coverage. And it, wasn't good. Prepared. it wasn't prepared for me. Yeah, it was not. It was not. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Well, every time I, like, call a time, I, I mean it. I'm never, like, early or late. You, know, you by, did by You did show up like exactly 12. at 12. Yeah. And I was like, bro, take your time. Don't worry about it. That's crazy. Felix Biederman is in the building. Dude. Holy fuck. It's a surprise to me as well. Um, what's up, dude? You're Hollywood Felix is what people are saying. I, um, we'll I'm see. saying we'll, that. We'll, we'll see. Hollywood Felix fucking curved me uh, it, like 11 times after saying, I got to come on the show and let's talk about these issues. Well... Okay, got, yeah, yeah. Got a lot of people in here today. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna like, get you I to saw meet it's the a packed house today. Yeah, there's there's hella people that are staying with me. The Australian boys are. That was the first thing I noticed about them. That they're Australian. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry about that. It happens. Yeah, it's whatever. It is what it is. I, you know, you end up meeting a lot of those people. If yeah. You, if you spend a lot of time on the computer. That's true. They are. Have you ever seen the haircut documentary? Like that, where they I went to North Korea to get a haircut. No. They did no, that. It sounds familiar. It was, it was them. They they went to North Korea to get a haircut. Did they go to that like weird triangle hotel? I don't know. We, you can ask them. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about cinema. I'm going to talk about everything. Calm down, chatters. Jesus fucking Christ. In 2017, if you talked about North Korea or DPRK, you know, I say both, you would get yelled at uh, by people online if you didn't say DPRK. It was one of those like, oh, yeah, the, quirks of yeah, They're not like that. They're, they're cool. No, they're, not like, they're, like, they're not annoying MLs or no, anything. No, I don't think any Australian has ever been an ML. No. I mean, like, I'm sure I'll I agree. that in chat, but like, I, that just doesn't seem right to me. I can't picture it. Yeah. Um, Felix got cooked for being late, late uh, uh, to the latest Choppa episode, Don't Let Him Lie. Yeah, I, I literally was listening to that. It wasn't my fault. For a little bit. And yeah, no, I, I can attest to this. He is Hollywood Felix. No, no. Even Bray. Okay, I got, I got, dude, this is a call out, actually. Bray said you fucking didn't go to dinner with him one time. <laughs> I was, okay, well, okay, that one I did legitimately miss. <laughs> that one I did, that was like, I can admit a mistake. These other things aren't mistakes. That was a legitimate mistake. I had just moved. I was adjusting to a new time zone. <laughs> that was, no, no, rarely does something like that happen. I always have a reason. <laughs> yeah. Every other time I have a reason. That time I didn't have a reason. That's kind of indefensible. This is what happens after he gets a positive coverage from Breitbart, dude. He gets a positive article in Breitbart. He just changed. He just changed up. That was, that was actually very nice coverage of us. That was know, weird. Like, it yeah, was it, very nice. At first, I thought they were going to be like, these guys are sweaty nerds and they suck. And then it was like, no, look at them like owning all the fucking like weird uh, establishment conservatives in a very funny way. Because, you know, if everyone went to a live show, like someone wrote an article like that about us in Tablet, you know... You, I, most people aren't going to know like tablet or commentary, but they're these. Like, They'll know. Of... They're, it's a dude. This is this is the number one Kanye West broadcast. Kanye was defending broadcast, dude. We know tablet. We <laughs> yeah. we yeah. all we all read it for the other reason. <laughs> tablet did have that great article that was like it, it was about a month and a half ago, and it was like, look, maybe Kanye said some bad stuff, but at least he's not Roger Waters. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love yeah yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, that was really. Was that good. was that was really good. That's not you know that didn't. I wonder what they're. I wonder what the author of that thinks about that now. Because like he, they did come after Bibi Netanyahu as well. If you like, generally, if you're like uh like super pro Israel, if you're super Zionist, Roger Waters is like, you know, public enemy number one. Even though there are other like anti Zionist celebrities, those dudes just hate Roger Waters. You can come closer too, by the way. I'm All gonna because right. I'm gonna eventually. Uh, move some people in here as well. All right. uh, ask Felix about the reformed Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. You want to talk to the kid? Did you see that? Wait, At the what? Game Awards last night? He wants to debate me, apparently. Rod just DM'd me. Who, wait, who does? Did you see the Game Awards last night? No. Did you see a clip from the Game Awards last night? No. Uh, where, okay, well, we'll start there in a second. Um, hold on, hold on a moment. Uh, We'll we'll get to that in a second. What the fuck was I talking about before Felix just walked in? They put in? Bill Clinton and Elden Ring. They Bill, he deserves it. I haven't even downloaded the DLC yet. Yeah, um, we got Elon Musk. We're gonna talk about Elon Musk. 
uh, a lot to talk about there. This is what is this? One? This is the kid. I think oh, he's like he has it, like a like an Israeli accent. I think is it is he one of those like you know I'm I'm 14 and I read a bunch of books and I'm conservative type guys. I, I think he's like he's like been a he's been a troll for a minute. We'll we'll start we'll start at that look. We'll start at that. Hold okay. on, Did this. Okay. Let me let me juice this lat. Let me juice this up one more time. Fucking uh, retweet this, boys. Okay, this tweet. Okay, what are you? What's that? What are you wearing right now? What's that T-shirt? Oh, this is a Radio War Nerd shirt. Shout oh. out to Radio War Nerd on nice. Patreon. John Dolan and Mark Ames is uh, probably the best podcast about war. Radio War Nerd. They invented the one free, one paid model. The Chapo stole. Oh, really? They yes. well, I, I stole it too with fear and and the yard stole as well. So basically, everyone stole that. From Radio Warner, but it is the preeminent podcast about war and conflict. It is a great show. A lot of fans of the show know John Dolan. We've had him on and Mark Ames. Mark Ames of Exiled, but yeah, uh, this is check it out. This is Chatter's TikTok that got fifty k likes. Uh, I'm saying it's sad because like all the fucking all the photos are like older when I had shorter hair. People don't like my long hair, Felix. Well, no, I mean I. Every time I look for something in my iCloud, and I, you, you know how now you can like type in like dog or like the place you were at, I bring up a bunch of photos all the time from 2014 and 2015 when I looked completely different, and it's it's very tragic. It's, yeah. I look at I, I look at photos from when I was doing Muay Thai like four times a week, and had visible abs. Yeah, I mean these it's are just, like I was sad. fat. I was fat. Like I was way fatter here. But it doesn't even matter because, like, I had shorter hair, and I feel like, oh, this, I, I met God, uh, she's, oh, God, that was, ay, ay, ay. I mean, everyone a wore fr- bad stuff at a that time. A fan sent this to me, okay? And I was wearing it, and this cash register lady liked it, so I gave it to her, okay? I no longer own this. She asked for it, and I gave it to her. It's a fun, cute little story. It did look good, though. Yeah, chat. And I, that's what matters. I wore a um I wore like a like bright pastel American apparel like tank top because I was like it was one of the only times I've been under two hundred. I was like one ninety, just like not touching weights, only kickboxing. I I was wearing like the American apparel super deep like tons of really bad twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. Oh yeah, oh yeah it didn't matter. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But those are always those are like all the pictures that people post. Your guests would love eye contact, and the content would be better. You are both staring at screens, bro. There's one camera. Well, like, what do you mean? Like, why How would it make the content better? I don't know why. So you can pretend you're here. No one makes eye contact anymore. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly that's true. The comments of the original TikTok wanted your short hair back. I can't look at the TikTok on on fucking desktop. TikTok mobile only. Um. Make Felix address the Valorant slander. I'm not, not only going to make him go. address this Valorant slander. I'm going to make him play Valorant. We'll play Valorant. I, yeah! I, we will play it. We will absolutely play it. This guy literally is like, bro, I'll play fucking Valorant with you like months ago, okay? And I'm like, hey, Felix, you want to play Valorant? He's like, oh, man, so awkward. Just got in a game with the boys on CSGO. I was in a ranked... Okay. <laughs> I was on a quest. I've been on a quest to get out of gold in CSGO. I just did it. I just got... Uh, I just got my gold AK. I got out of gold four. I ranked up. I had two rank ups in two games two days ago. Dude, I'm I had a so bit bad. Of it's, but that's the, the beautiful thing about CS:GO. When you first start playing CS:GO, you feel awful when you lose because you're just you're mostly not getting out mechanic. You're getting outsmarted. Uh, you're getting pre-fired. Oh yeah, no nose utility. But then it starts clicking for you. It's like it's like doing jujitsu, except you know you you uh, get in worse shape as you do it. But yeah. It's once you finally get like a little bit above average. That's the only reason I'm excited about getting out of gold because it means that I am a very 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 slightly above average player to the entire North American player pool. But now I ca- I can play Valorant. I prefer the new Call of Duty honestly, but I will play it. I've committed to playing it. We'll do it. Okay, hell yeah. Um, I've fucking been silver one one time. I'm so bad, dude. I'm at, I'm, at Valorant. Yeah, it's a tough game. There's just too much fucking too much going shit on. Going on. But I also don't fucking know. Like, oh Jesus Christ! I'm gonna keep hitting this because I I moved my microphone today so I could like fit more dudes into this small tiny fucking sliver 
of space here. Um, eventually when they come, uh, that's what we're going to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's, let's get started. I'm going to, I'm going to end it here.